Welcome Catawba County Schools families. We want to give you a quick overview of how to use the new website to navigate your choices for the 2021 school year. When you land on our website at catawbaschools.net, you will see that it looks like this now. You've got a couple of options to get to the new information. So you can click here where it says reopening plans. You can also scroll down here and click here to find your um, reopening plans. You can also click on the menu and find it right here. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and click, and I'm gonna click where it says start here. So on this page, you can scroll down. We've got an introduction for you to explain what this is, and you'll see a group of um, pictures here with links to different items that are important. So if you would, you can click here on the start here button. You will see a message from our superintendent. You can read this, it kind of gives you an overview of everything. You'll also find on every page there's helpful links. If we go back to our page, and you can also find it, go back to that same page by clicking here on what's called a breadcrumb, and we'll get back to this page. The next uh, thing that you can click on is this says explore your options. For the 2021 school year, you have two options to choose from. So if I click on this where it says see your choices, you'll see that this is how it's laid out. A really quick overview. For choice one, you can choose the ABC plan for your family. The ABC plan, is what we dubbed the governor's plan that was either going to be under A, which is daily face-to-face -face instruction for all students, plan B, which is a mix of online and in-person learning, and plan C is a fully remote learning for all students. Whether Which plan we're in is determined by the governor and the state based on COVID-19 metrics. Last week, the governor let us know that all public schools in North Carolina must open under plan B or they have the option of opening under plan C. We are opening under plan B, which means that we are going to have a mix of online and in-person learning. If you are not comfortable sending your family, your children back to in-person learning in school, we're also happy to offer you choice number two. And that is through our online Catawba K-12 Virtual Academy. Our virtual academy is not new. This has been in existence since 2017-2018 school year, and last year alone we had over a thousand students enrolled in grades 7 through 12. So for this year, we are opening it up to kindergarten through 12th grade. And this is taught by a separate group of our Catawba County Schools teachers that are dedicated to online Catawba. So if you choose choice number two, which is online Catawba, your student will learn 100% remotely, and by a separate set of teachers. There will also be an opportunity for face-to-face -face tutoring during office hours if needed. So just know that that's there um, in case you do need it. Now, if you choose choice one, which is the combination of in-person and online learning, this will be taught by our regular awesome classroom teachers. So if, um, and, and grades two through 12 will be divided into two groups and, um, and so if you're in the first half of the alphabet, your student will go to school in person on Monday and Tuesday. If you're in the last half of the alphabet, your student will go in person on Wednesday and Thursday. The other three days of the week, your student will learn remotely from the same classroom teacher that is teaching the in-person class. So you'll have continuity here of the same teacher, whether you're learning remotely or whether you're learning in person in class. Same thing here, and if you choose online Catawba, you will have the same teacher the whole time, which is separate from uh, this plan, choice number one. One thing to note about choice number one, the ABC plan, you need to be flexible. Right now, we are opening under plan B, which is what we just described. However, if the metrics get worse at the state level, the governor may require us to transition to plan C which is fully remote learning for all students. Um, in addition, if things get better, which we're all hoping for, we could also transition to plan A, which means everybody's back in school. So just know that you need to be flexible here just in case, and we will keep you informed as soon as we know everything. If you scroll down on this page, you'll also see some more details about each of the plans. You'll see the schedule, it's different for different grade levels and you'll be able to see that here. You also um, can find some different uh, links here and again, the helpful links that you found on the first page will also appear here. 
So that's what this page is for. You'll also see that there's a student intent form that we need you to complete by August 1st for every student in your household. So this will go out to a separate form. It's a very easy form, but what this is asking is, do you want to choose choice one, the ABC plan for your student, or do you want choice two, the online Catawba for your student? We'll also be asking if there are any siblings in your household that we need to, that may have a different last name so we can make sure that we try our very best to group all families together, and also whether or not you need transportation. So transportation is going to be a challenge in that we can only have a maximum of uh, one student per seat. So we are asking families if you have any other possible way to get your student to school other than using bus transportation, please do so. If you need to carpool with another family in order to get your student to school, we've got that information also on this form. We need you to complete this by August 1st to give us time to compile all this data and work out all of the logistics from scheduling, classroom um, management, or not management, but classroom uh, setups, um, meals, transportation, et cetera. So the sooner you get this in, the sooner we can work through those logistics and let you know. Uh, back on this, we've also got a frequently asked questions document. Right now, you, here it looks like this. You can click on each of these links and it will take you to different parts of the document. Please know that this is a fluid document. We will be updating it as we go. So right now, there may not be that many questions, but no, we will add them as we get them from you. There's also links to our safety and sanitation guide. If you click on that, it'll go to another document like this. And again, it's got a table of contents. And this is where you're gonna find a lot of answers to your questions. Our safety and sanitation guide was created through uh, careful consideration through the guidelines from the Department of Health and Human Services, the CDC, and more. On uh, here, on a, back on the helpful links, you've, there's a uh, link here to the North Carolina Lighting Your Weight Guidance document. You'll also see links to the, uh, the toolkit that we had to use for all of our guidance. And this is a long document that was produced by the state. So please feel free to take a look at that. Back on this, sorry for the scrolling, you'll also find a link to online Kataba so you can learn more about that if you were interested in that. Back here, you'll find that there's also information about our Quest Child Care. Um, we will be able to offer Quest before and after school at all of our sites, and we're also able to offer full day care at these sites right here. Right now, the uh, application form will be available after August 1st, and you can check back here um, to register. You can click here and find pricing. So hopefully you'll find that there is a lot of information on here to help guide you in making your decision. So just as a reminder, please do complete your student intent form by August 1st. If you have any questions, please reach out directly to your school and they will be happy to help you. Thank you very much for your time as we walk through the new website.